I met Franklin around um, June of 2010. I was attracted to him because he was funny, um, kind, um, nice. Before the assault, the relationship was good. He'd pick me up from work, take me to work. We'd go out, we'd do things together. It was just a good relationship before this one night. I was originally out with my friends on the night of the assault. Um, I was out with two friends and he was intended on meeting us with his two friends. He bought us a bottle of wine. We was all drinking and dancing, having a good time. He asked me to leave um, without getting my coat, I wasn't allowed. So I knew that something was wrong because he was rushing for me to leave. Um, and then outside is, is when he just, he just started shouting. I, can't, I don't remember exactly what he was saying, but he just started shouting and then he just, it was, just, it was like it was from nowhere, just hit me, just out of nowhere. During the assault, I begged him to stop um, a few times. At one point, I was on the floor and he was, I begged him to stop and he just laughed. But I was confused. I didn't really know what was going on. At one point, I thought I was, he was going to kill me because he just wouldn't stop. It was approximately quarter past two on the, in the morning on the 17th of March 2013. Police received reports from members of the public that a male was assaulting a female in the vicinity of Rochester High Street. The reports were that he was dragging her along the floor by her hair and punching and kicking her before placing her in a vehicle and driving off. He got me into the car. Um, he was still shouting at me. Um, <clears throat> I asked him where he was taking me and he told me he was going to take me to his house. I told him that I needed to go to the hospital. Um, my face was burning. That's all I remember is my face was burning. He was just driving like a madman, driving like I've, I've, I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it. He was just didn't, he wasn't stopping at the red lights. He was just driving fast. I don't remember too much of being in the car, but all I know is that he kept hitting me and he just kept shouting at me and telling me that he was taking me to his house. Um, and the first moment that he stopped was when he saw the police lights and that was the only time that he stopped. He refused to get out of the car and talk to officers and he was uh, removed from the vehicle forcibly and he was arrested at the scene and they noticed the female had several injuries, especially to her face. She was very distressed and appeared to be in a lot of pain. I had uh, two chipped teeth um, and just the whole of my face was swollen. I had bruises all around my neck. I had cuts and abrasions up my arms and my legs and my feet. My hair had been pulled out because he dragged me along the floor by my hair. I knew if he'd got me into his house, things would just get worse. If he, was, if he could do that in a high street, what he could do behind closed doors, I don't even want to think about. We do take every report of domestic violence seriously and we always will look to prosecute offenders. Initially, Letitia was reluctant to, to tell us what happened and to engage with us. Uh, and the reason she gave this was that she feared reprisals from Franklin or his associates. I didn't want to say it was him at first um, because he begged me not to. Um, and I was just scared of what was going to happen if I did say that it was him. But the police reassured me that I wasn't alone. I think it in encouraged Letitia to uh, realise that we did take the matter seriously and that she wasn't alone and that we would strive to bring Franklin to justice. When I was in hospital, um, the domestic violence lady came to see me and she said that I didn't have to worry that they was going to help me through everything and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be alone. They'd support me through it all. When I go out, I am wary, yeah. Um, I am wary of whom I'm around. Um, I, I didn't sleep for about a month or so. I slept with the light on. Sometimes I can wake up and have nightmares and sometimes I wake up in a bit of a sweat. It's important for obviously the victims to realise they aren't alone and for us to uh, remind them that we do work closely with other agencies that can offer support, not only to the victims, but also to offenders as well. My message would be just to go to the police because they, they will help you and they can help you through it. You're not alone and they can support you through it all. Franklin White was sentenced to six years imprisonment for the assault on Letitia. This shows that the system does work and that Kent Police do take domestic violence very seriously. When it happened, I found out that he'd done it to a few people before and obviously they'd never come forward to the police. So I'm just happy that he knows now that he can't get away with doing what he's done because no one has ever come forward before. So I'm doing this just to show people that you can, they can get what they deserve.